but the trends in core goods and non-housing services, the tentative indications of some deceleration in wages, the evidence that inflation expectations, despite the run-up, have been very well anchored at 2%, and the scope for uh, markup compression may provide some reassurance that we aren't experiencing a wage price spiral of the sort that we saw in the 1970s. In that case, it's possible that a continued moderation uh, in output could facilitate continued easing in the labor market and reduction in inflation without a significant loss of employment. What does that mean for policy? So the Federal Reserve moved uh, policy into restrictive territory at a very rapid pace and subsequently downshifted the pace of increases in the federal funds rate at our last meeting. That gives us the opportunity to uh, look at more data as we move the policy rate closer to what we call a sufficiently restrictive level, taking into account the risks around both our employment and inflation goals. In, par in parallel, the balance sheet is continuing to run off. That said, inflation remains high and policy is going to need to remain sufficiently restrictive for some time to make sure it gets down to 2% on a sustained basis. 